guys, it's me, Africa Hair God. I'm here again with my little sister, Leah. And as you can see her, her fabulous hair, she's come home from school for the summer, so I'm gonna give her the full African Hair God experience. So what we're gonna to do today is do a wash, deep condition, blow out, and trim her hair if it needs to be trimmed. And she also wants to flat out her hair just to see how long her hair has gotten and to also see it straight. So how long have you been natural now? For about a year now. Just a year? Yeah. This, this is a year? <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, <laughs> a year and a, some change, I guess. Um, and uh, I can feel that you've been neglecting your hair a lot, am I correct? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it feels very, very dry. So that deep condition is definitely necessary for today. But uh, I'm not going to talk too much just because I'm a little bit under the weather. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So I'm first starting my sister off with two shampoos. The first shampoo is to clarify and cleanse stubborn or excess buildup that may be on the hair as she has been neglecting her hair. And the second is to gently cleanse with a moisturizing or conditioning shampoo which is going to instill moisture into the hair while also cleansing it and conditioning it as well. After shampooing, I am using the Afflogy Balancing Moisturizer as my deep conditioner. It is balanced with moisturizers to give the hair moisture and elasticity and protein which is going to not only protect the hair but also give it more strength and resilience against the heat styling. After deep conditioning, I am using the liquid based Provitamin Leave In by Afoji, which is going to add lightweight moisture, protection from heat styling, and contains protein for an added boost in shine, protection, and strength for the hair. I am following that with the Design Essentials Hydrate, which is going to reinfuse the hair with more moisture, softness, and elasticity, as well as protection from heat styling. From temporary into forever. After parting a workable section, I'm going to apply a small amount of the Matrix Biolage Deep Smoothing Serum, which is going to help with smoothing out her thick curly hair while adding my final layer of heat protectant. Each section that I blow dry, I first remove excess water from the hair and use my blow dryer and paddle brush to gently elongate and relax her curly hair. Once her curls have become slightly loosened and elongated, I begin to blow dry the hair smooth with my paddle brush, first smoothing out the ends and then working my way up to the mid shaft of the hair. I spent a long time waiting for love to come and find After smoothing out the hair with my paddle brush, I follow with my tourmaline boar bristle round brush, which is going to smooth the hair, adding shine with some volume and body to her hair. I 
I then used my soft boar bristle round brush to gently smooth out the delicate hairs along her perimeter of her hairline. And lastly, I use my pen round brush to blow dry, smooth, and straighten her hair at the root. By doing this at a slanted angle, it allows me to get extremely close to her roots without burning or drying out her scalp. Once I've completed blow drying one section, I will then part off another workable section and repeat these same steps until her entire head is completely blow dried. After blow drying, I proceeded to part thin workable sections and flat iron her hair using my Red Pro Lisa Ray Diamond Infused Ceramic Flat Iron set at about 400 degrees. Keep in mind that this is the temperature that is appropriate for her thick curly strands of hair. The temperature that you will set for your hair will depend on a number of things, including your hair texture and the material of the place of your flat iron. So, if you're not sure, please refer to the user manual of your flat iron to determine the correct temperature for your hair. And remember, higher heat does not equate to better results. It all depends on your hair. Me, he used to be so weak, but now he's strengthened up. He done made the move from foolery to super G, and finally his beard is lengthened up. I think he must be a man now. Yes, he know he can. Blessings on his hand. Come get a handout. And I don't mean a corn can from Uncle Sam. Busted knuckles on my hand from all this hustle and a sucker punching undercover fans. Posing like the haters, knowing they relate and resonate with every lyric that I'm saying. Man, say you love me. Because I love the God inside of you, though the outside of you is ugly. Come take a ride with me in my time machine. I just left the car like somewhere in the future with convertibles and hard tops. Which one I'm gon' soup up with this check I got from Rap and this chair I got from Ralph. From the Midwest to the South, and the buttons on the slab go round and round and round and round. They go round and round and round and round. They go round and round and round and round. They go, they go, they go. Said I used to be a used to, but never got used to what I used to be. My noodle is renewed and all this arts do go just so tried and true to me. He's using me to use the chi, the force, the spirit, man, and lord. So as you can see from her obvious split ends, neglecting her hair has left her ends rather damaged. As a result, I ended up trimming off about an eighth of an inch to two inches of her hair. I took this opportunity to cut her hair into a basic layered cut for a number of reasons. 
For one, that's the way her hair naturally grows, so I'm cutting with the growth pattern of her hair. And another reason is that she typically just wears her hair in an afro style most of the time, so the layered cut will ensure that her afro keeps an even rounded shape. As her hair continues to grow out, I will gradually shorten out her layers and allow her hair to lay fuller and with more weight toward her ends. But for right now, this is the cut that is best suited for her hair. So this is the finished result. Go ahead and turn around for me. Bone straight. Only took a couple of passes. Now give it a little shake for us. <laughs> uh, and let's turn turn to the back so we can see the how long it is. Okay. So her hair's grown out past where she started from, and. It's still pretty much straight. It's starting to kink up a little bit because <laughs> of the humidity in here, but uh, this should last her about a good week or so. Very smooth, very straight, and like I always say, it, it all really depends on the condition of your hair and just having good balance of protein and moisture will give you the best results. So, thanks for watching, and you can turn back around and... <laughs> Thanks for watching and until the next video be blessed. Bye. <laughs> I tried